Welcome to the Riverside Township Senior Exercise Class. I'm Mary Rob Clark, a Township Trustee. We're going to introduce some yoga classes, and they are going to be so much fun. We're looking forward until we can meet again in person. Until then, namaste. Hello. Welcome to the Riverside Township Senior Exercise Class. Welcome so much. I'm Kim Wade. I'm founder of Inner Gaze Yoga and founder of the Inner Circle Healthy Habits for Wild Women Over 40. Are you wild? Today's class, we're going to be focusing on stability and ease. So you need to grab a chair, maybe some pillows, maybe even a belt, and we will get started. Today we are really going to focus on core, right? And what is the core? We think of it often as the belly, but the core goes all the way around our torso. And the abdominal muscles are supposed to be holding the integrity of the spine. Remember, every single posture that we do, we're always looking for the primary focus about being long through the spine, and then those abdominal muscles really brace it. So that's our focus today. If you've ever built a fire, and I know you guys have built fires, right? You start with those little twigs and you, you get it going, you get it going, and then some bigger sticks and then bigger sticks and then you build that bonfire. That's what we're going to be building in our, in our bellies, in our abdominals. And the way I look at this abdominal uh, center is it's almost like you're walking through life, life is a little windy, and you've got this candle. You've got to protect your fire, right? Sometimes life makes us feel damp. It feels like our core goes out, where our power goes out. Sometimes it feels like we're really angry and we're just just like burning ourselves up. We want to be using this abdominal strength, this core muscle, to be building our fire, just keeping it tending so that it's our best, healthiest glow. And that's what we're focusing on today. So we're going to take our, if you have a bathrobe strap or even maybe a necktie, that's what you could use. You could also grab a block if you have one of these fancy yoga blocks, but if not, any kind of pillow or big thick book will work, okay? You don't ever need to have fancy yoga pants or fancy yoga props. Yoga is for wherever you are and it will meet you wherever you are. So, how are you? Let's start off by checking in on that. So the first thing we're gonna do, as always, is we're gonna stop, we're gonna pause, we're gonna move ourselves into stillness we're going to see how we're presenting today, okay? So just sitting up nice and tall. If you're having a low ponytail, imagine that your low ponytail's reaching up. So there's a little tight tuck of the chin. And for me, it always is a little bit of a humble bow, right? I'm bowing towards this time I'm creating for myself. So first step of mindfulness is how am I presenting today? So we're just gonna take some breaths here. Noticing any aches in the shoulders. Maybe you've got some sinus drips. Maybe you're a little constipated, right? Nothing glamorous about this. We're just noticing what's happening. What am I showing up with today? And if you think you're really advanced at this, that means you're not judging it at all, right? That's our advanced. You're just noticing. How do those hips feel? Are you cranky? Are you tired? What's going on? And then the second step of mindfulness here is, can I just be with it, right? A little bit harder. Can I just be with this achy neck or this sinus pressure without getting caught up in the stories or remembering the conversations? What is presenting with me right now and can I just be with it? So we're going to start to move into the Samavriti, that equal inhale and that equal exhale. If you've been coming a while, maybe you're stretching out those breaths, but if this is your first class, inhaling for four and exhaling for four is a beautiful pattern. If you've been here a bit, maybe inhaling for six and exhaling for six. So we're just 
what's going on with me right now and can I just be with it, breathing deeply. About five more breaths. Remember the torso goes all the way around so we're breathing into our belly but we're also breathing into our lower back. We're even expanding the side body. So can I feel that my ribs are opening? Wherever there are lungs, there are ribs. Wherever there are ribs, there are lungs. So I can use this expansion and know that I'm fully moving into my lungs. It's also super relaxing, isn't it? Just to calm the chattering of the mind, and stretching that inner body, that breath. One more time, please. I love it, love it, love it, love it. How about you? Okay, so abdominal muscles. Most of us, you know, if we're a little bit older, we were taught to hold our belly in, right? So we're constantly trying to hold our belly in. And when we do that, sometimes it's hard to even get a breath. So part of what this work is, is learning how to engage my abdominal muscles, but still be able to take a deep breath into it. So the way I like to teach it is a little cough. So let's do this together, let's cough. <coughs> Do you feel those muscles that are activating? <coughs> okay, those muscles, those deep transversus muscles are the muscles that we wanna be holding. So let's see if we can engage contracting those muscles but still take a deep breath. This takes a little bit of time to practice, so let's try it. So you're contracting those coughing muscles, feel that, and then see if you can still take a big breath into the belly. If this is hard for you, then you're like many other people. This takes a long time, especially if you've always been told to keep your belly in. It's hard to do both. You ever hear of like this, where you're patting? Yeah, it's that. You're contracting those belly muscles, you're hugging in, and you're still taking a big old breath. About five more. Still doing it. <laughs> you can keep coughing just to remember where those muscles are. Three more. I'll tell you a secret while you're doing this. This is why our backs go out, because we don't engage. So when we slam the car door, or we pick up the coffee pot, or we you know, leash up the dog, and we don't engage, but we're moving our spine, our backs can go out, because as I said, the abdominal muscles hold our, our spines with that integrity. Last breath. So this will be your homework. Okay, this will be homework. All right, so we're sitting on the edge of the chair so that I can sit up nice and tall. And here we go, practicing that contracting those muscles, still doing your deep breathing. And as we start to put our movements in, don't forget, primary focus, long spine, right? Secondary most important focus is this even inhale, even exhale. Even inhale, even exhale. If those two things leave you, if you start collapsing in the spine or you start chopping up your breath, then you need to go back and start over. Okay, those are the most important things. All right, here we go. Contract, lean back just a tiny bit and we're gonna lift our right leg. There it goes. Can you feel that bonfire starting to kick on? And put it down. Other leg up and down. I'm gonna keep going and I want you to keep going, but I want you to do it on your own pace, right? Sometimes I'm moving a little bit faster than you wanna move. Sometimes I'm moving a little bit slower than you wanna move. The whole point is to get to know yourself and spend some quality time. So that's what you're doing here. How's that feel? Can you feel how that's working? Still doing the deep breath, still contracting those muscles. We're not trying to look good in a bikini. That's not why we're here, right? We're not doing bikinis. We're not trying to find those six pack abs. We're not trying to bounce a quarter, right? We want to have integrity in our spine. Doesn't hurt to look good in a bikini, but I'm not putting on a bikini. There's just no way, right? Three more. 
Are you losing something? Are you losing it? If you're losing it, then I want you to stop and go back. Find that cough, find those muscles. Last one, and pause, right? Let's see if we can take a pause and process some of that work. Mindfulness, what am I presenting with? And can I just be with it? I'm not trying to fix it, not trying to change it, not trying to make myself any different. Just be in here right now with you, you with me. Two more big old breaths. I can hear some of you going, are we supposed to contract our muscles? No, we're not contracting our muscles right now. This is relaxing, so we're letting it all flop out. You can unbutton your jeans if you want to. Let it all go. The difference is we need to stretch, we need to strengthen, but we also need to relax. If we're not having this processing time, we're not getting the benefit, right? Okay, so here we go again. Fire it up. These are the sticks getting a little bit bigger, building our little bonfire. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Some of you might feel like you're a little sassy today, and you might even want to do a little bit of a straight leg. A lot more challenging, okay? Up, straighten, tap. But if you're losing this, if you're losing the abdominal integrity, that means you're asking your spine to do the work and that's how we get the injury. So remember this point is to hold my spine with integrity. We got about, I don't know, anybody counting? I forgot to count, maybe four more. I'm kind of famous for being a bad counter. <laughs> Three, maybe you've noticed. And two, it's hard to count and talk. <laughs> One more, here we go. Bracing, 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 and relax. Time to process. Let it all flop out. What are you noticing here? Two more big old breaths. Oh, nice, very nice. Okay, we're gonna take our block, and if you don't have it, again, any pillow, any book, anything that's about the width of your hips. Remember, these are our hips, right? That's the measurement we wanna find. So you wanna find that the knees are lining up with those hips, and the patella, the kneecap, is sitting right over that second, third toe. Sometimes we do something like this, or we take one leg out or we turn. And what happens here is then we start to hurt that knee. So always and forever, the femur bone, this thigh bone, and this shin bone have to be measuring up and lining up to keep that knee nice and safe. Okay, we're gonna put whatever props we have right between our um, legs here, and we're gonna squeeze. Now here, if you feel like you're really getting this and you're really understanding it and you're wanting to do something a little bit more advanced, we're gonna turn up the sides of our mouth and we're gonna smile. It changes everything, okay? Stay here, contract those mus muscles, breathing super deeply, and some of us can put our backs on the chair, okay? Leaning back, if that feels too strenuous for you, guess what? You don't do it, right? Yoga meets you where you are. So I feel like I'm ready for this today. I'm gonna to contract these mu muscles, <coughs> coughing muscles, pull them in, and we're gonna to start to take those knees up and then down. If this feels too challenging, I want you to skip it. And down. Sometimes it's nice to hold on to the chair. Three. Hug it in, hug it in. Two. Pretty hard, right? You feeling it? One more, hold it up, smile. Come on, both rows of teeth, top and bottom. Cheese, cheese, and good. Come on out, take that away. And let's feel what we did. Sometimes we notice that one side feels weaker, one side feels stronger. Just studying, just noticing all those little things about us that make us so unique. One or two more deep breaths. All right, 
Let's finish up by just bringing some movement into our arms. Inhale, reach your arms up. And as always, if one arm gets a little tweaky, if one shoulder gets tweaky, I want you to stop and be balanced. Some of us can go all the way up. And we're gonna exhale, bring our arms into goal post. Let's do that about three more times. Drop it, inhale, go up as high as you can without having any pinch or tweak. And then exhale, pull down into those goal posts. Here we go, inhale, sweep the arms up and exhale goal post let's go one more one more time and we're going to do a fancy move here so get ready inhale exhale goal post brace that belly get that belly on and we're going to turn and drop the left arm on that right knee grab the chair and we're going to use the core to ring ourselves out finishing up here inhale big sweeping breath and exhale start to turn now the challenge here is to keep those knees as level as you can as you're moving. Can you feel that bracing action? Can you feel that ringing out like a dish rag? You could look over the left shoulder if you felt like that was nice on your neck. You could look over the right shoulder. One more big breath here. So nice, and inhale, come back to center. Let's reach up again, inhale like snow angels in the snow. Exhale, pull it down. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, pull it down, feel that action, okay? One more time, we're gonna make our fancy move now. Inhale up, exhale, pull it down and feel that engagement. Turn here and do the opposite side. Take a big breath in and exhale. Pull those belly muscles in as you're turning. Again, you could look forward or you could look back, whatever it feels like your neck is needing. My back loves this. How's your back feeling? Is this something that feels really good to you? Yoga needs to always feel good to you, always. That's it. And exhale, exhale, exhale. Come on back. Take your knees nice and wide. And we're just going to drop forward here. Please don't fall. That's not yoga. And you're just going to drop and hang. Five deep breaths. You could take your arms out. You could grab opposite elbows. See if you can lengthen your spine a little bit more. Lengthen those inhales a little bit more. Two more breaths. <sighs> One more. So nice. And then taking all the time you need to slowly, 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 slowly. Come on up. We're going to end today with our strap and our block. And again, if you don't have the pillow and all this here and you don't want to go get it because you just feel like you don't want to go get it, you don't even need it. You're just going to imagine it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the strap around our thighs. Notice that the pillow or block is between my knees. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to have to think about it, right? And so these props are supporting me so that I can use my time to do other things. Go ahead and go to the edge of your chair. Find this nice and snuggled in. If you'd like to sit and lean back on the chair, feel free. I prefer to sit up. And we're going to bring our attention to closing our eyes. I like to call it the inner gaze. We're inwardly glancing. A slight little tuck of your chin. You can turn the palms down if you're contemplating what is. You can turn your palms up if you're open to insights. I like to make a little bowl in my lap of abundance. And we're going to go back to feeling ourselves breathe here right into that lower belly. 
We're gonna end our session today by doing a breathing pattern that's very grounding, very nurturing. So I know some of us would struggle with anxiety, maybe you're in pain today. Um, whenever our mind starts to take us out of body is what I like to call it, like we like leave kind of thing, this is a great way to come back that, you know, I'm okay, I'm okay. So what we're gonna be focusing on is what I like to say, flossing our breath. So closing your eyes, and I'm gonna talk you through it. You don't need to be looking at me. And I want you to imagine that you're breathing into your lungs. Ready, inhale, spread those lungs up. And exhale, imagine that you're plunging down, 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 down on the exhale. Almost like your bottom is getting heavier in the chair. So here we go again. Inhale up towards the lungs. Spread those lungs. Spread those shoulder blades. Fill yourself up. And exhale. Heavy, 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 heavy in the chair without collapsing the spine. Grounding. And sometimes when we are in pain or our mind is chattery, we can literally think to ourselves, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. So here we go. Three more breaths. I'm going to stop talking. Inhale to the lungs, exhale down. Last one. So nice. And we bring our hands to touch. Take your thumbs and put them against your heart. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. As always, may this work be of benefit to you. Deep bows to you all. Namaste.